Hollywood celebrities do not care about the shooting victims in Las Vegas nor of victims of gun violence throughout America in my opinion seeing these cucks like Conan O'Brien Jimmy Kimmel Trevor Noah and the late night um, shit talkers political goons who are out of touch with the hood common community us regular folk the more common folk with the majority Can I say, what if I said, you know what, I really care about the homeless. I really want them to be good, to be better. I wish that they all had jobs. I wish that they were all warm and fuzzy. Would you say that that's the case when I've uh, picked up a burger and seen a homeless motherfucker um, at the corner? I'm thinking, you know what? I got an um, extra eight bucks. I could buy him a burger combo. And I don't. I want to see the homeless motherfuckers at the parks, street corners. I see, you know, I got an extra blanket at home. I can give it to them. Um, I won't die. I won't suffer. Maybe an inconvenience, but I could afford to give give one away. Uh, the other day I saw a homeless motherfucker um, grabbing a uh, uh, recycle Re uh, looking for cans and bottles out of the trash can to recycle for some money and I was like, no, I'll give, I'll give this guy uh, my, uh, my glass bottles, I hate carrying them to the recycle and I just said, hey, hey dog, do you collect glass? And like, um, uh, he says something like si sí, hermano so go get the glass bottles and give it to him and I did that more as a convenience for me now because I've only done that does that make me evil or can I say that I really care about the homeless And I bring that up because these motherfuckers talk about, you know, gun violence in the world, you know, but, you know, I want some armed bodyguards with me, you know, former Navy SEALs, some of my friends, former Special Forces, some of my mentors, former U.S. Marines, some of my brothers. Fuck you. They only work for you for the buck. Nothing else. So, now would I be a fucking asshole if I was a multimillionaire, which I'm not yet, and I said I really care about, cared about the homeless, and I did those things, grab my burger, and not buy that other motherfucker a burger, or give him a blanket when I know I have extra blankets, and I criticize you guys, you know what, all you guys need to donate to my charity, because y'all guys got money, you know. I got my mansion here in in um, Hollywood, Studio City, Bel Air, Beverly Hills, Westwood, Brentwood, Palos Verdes, the OC, Laguna Beach, and other places. Could you imagine if I said that? I would be a fucking piece of shit, hypocrite, coward, motherfucker. But many people let fucking, oh, it's Karen O'Brien, he's so funny. Oh, it's Jimmy Fallon, you know. It's Jimmy Kimmel, he's, such, he's so funny, he's such a nice guy. No. Oh. 
No. Again, I would be, if I didn't have my gun, at times when people have tried to rob me, extort me, and even murder me for working legally <laughs> in America, in democratic states, with democratically elected Democrat, Democrat voting mayors of the cities that I was in. Nah. Something's wrong here. Something's fishy here. And me, I just want to tell you guys out there, just think about it, you know. Yeah, man, you're still an asshole. I didn't give that homeless motherfucker a fucking something. <laughs> if I really did care about the homeless, besides just giving a like, doing a Facebook share, I could volunteer at a soup kitchen, um, go to the grocery store, get all the, um, the damaged, um, the damaged cans, the old food, cook it up, and, um, Serve it to some of these miserable motherfuckers and be like, hey, fucker, come on. Here, have a meal. Don't fucking quit. And I could stop drawing, stop working on my goals, but I'll admit that I am selfish. I am focused on making shit happen. That with the rewards and gains from capitalism, I do have other goals, bigger goals to accomplish. Besides, uh, fucking more bitches, it's keeping promises and helping other people. And that, and that's my own thing right there. And the only thing that I could do is just say, hey, I'm in this journey. If you want to help me out, cool. If not, alright, man. Fuck off. Have a nice day. But the woman starts saying, you know, you, you know, you guys are wrong because you're not helping me out. Um, you guys are racialist. You're out of touch. So what can these multi-millionaires do that I can't? If they really cared. Just just for Los Angeles, for example. Because it's possible some blood, some crip, some 18th Streeter, some MS 13 member. Or some other sort of gang member could get smoked tonight, could rob someone, could kill each other. You know, why don't they, especially the Hollywood motherfuckers, why don't they start a um, another homeboy industries, even though I think they're a fucking racket? And then I met some serious pieces of garbage from that. Um, um, I want to say organization from that fucking fake, fake place, fake, uh, fake warm fuzziness. Stupid gangbang who tried to gangbang on me. I don't gangbang for shit, I'm not into that fucking, I don't need, I could stand on my own. The Marine Corps taught me that. That's another story right there. It's by itself. But why don't why don't um, these celebrities um, create shit like that? They they already have an audience who are watching. How about saying something? Like, All right. Anyone's ever been to jail for fucking punching a motherfucker, being part of a gang, being caught with a deadly weapon, knife, or fucking. Gun, come on over. We're doing a comedy show. Who's the funniest motherfucker? The funniest motherfucker to come work for us. No, man, I can't do something like that because, you know, I'm doing the Emmys this weekend and we got a process as to how we're all um, being oppressed. You know, maybe I'll do that next week. All right. Oh, you know what? This week, 
I'm working on a TV show that's all warm and fuzzy that tells people how to shoot guns sideways and, you know, make us look cool. You know, the assassin. Okay, dog. So what about this? No, man, today I'm doing a movie and, like, um, we're going to do another one that shows how, you know, we're just shooting zombies and zombies are cool and, you know, we just got to be hood. But, oh, my God, I need to work on the makeup because I've never been to the country, but... You know, I would never dare hang out in the forest because it's all musty and dirty. But I'm going to have to get grimed up and look tough. And i got to work on this role and do my line. Sorry. So. You know, but that's only one shot. That's only one shooting, two shootings. Tell that to the fucking mother. Some fucking kid who was just playing in the fucking yard. Playing in the fucking living room, asleep in the fucking crib. Gets a bullet to the dome. In beautiful democratic run, run cities like uh, Detroit, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Uh, it's only one, it's only two, it's only a couple. Tell that to the mothers. Alright, mother. I know you lost a child, but look. We need gun control and like you know, um, you take care about take care of your own things and we just we gotta take care of this Vegas thing. It's like, what if they hurt me in my mansion? You kidding me? That's where I have my Bentley. You know? <laughs> yeah, you, you could just have another kit, but this Bentley is limited edition. This is a Ferrari, Ferrari Enzo. Did you know? <laughs> you wouldn't know. Just a dumbass nigga. Don't let me think I'm gonna drop a hand here. But um Yeah, these celebrity fucks are just they wanna play with your emotions. Call your favorite comedian, write an email to them, Twitter them. Facebook fuck them. Hey dog. My favorite comedian, favorite actor, actress, singer, whatever. They just come to my birthday party for my kid. We could change the date and we could meet you somewhere. We just want to meet for 10 minutes. Probably, um, the handler needs him to email. Could you believe this guy wants you to go see his kid and he's not offering money? What a joke. What a loser. Can't believe your fans don't want to pay you. My God. Ew, go to the hood. Ew. And uh, some people may think that I'm exaggerating. Man, oh man. I have some cool friends in Hollywood. I speak to them as as I'm speaking now. Nope. It would be counterproductive to mention their names. I'm cool with them. I don't think they would totally agree with my perspective, but they would listen. And I don't think they would totally dismiss me as uh, just a straight up shit talker, but someone who is just giving an honest opinion based on life, not based off what the TV says how you should live, or just on life. Think for yourself. Hollywood celebrities are out of fucking touch. Fake smile crocodile motherfuckers. Fuck the NFL too. <laughs>